if you look in your formula sheet you can see a triangle like this so let me draw that triangle it looks like this so this is a right angle you've got root 3 here you have got one year and two year and this angle in radians is given to be pi by pi by three and this is given to be pi by six so pi by three pi by three is uh, 180 divided by three which is 60 degree and pi by six is 180 divided by six which is 30 degree So looking at this, let's write, say, what is cos, cos 30, or, uh, yeah, cos 30, which is pi by 6. So when you're looking at pi by 6, when you're looking at finding cos, you have to find the, look at the adjacent. For pi by 6, the adjacent is root 3 and the hypotenuse. So this is your adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse. So using Sokatoa cos pi by 6 is root 3 over 2. Now what does this mean? This means in a unit circle when the angle has when a particle has moved say 30 degrees the x coordinate is going to be root 3 over 2. So let's understand that. So but this is a unit circle doesn't look like a circle this is radius 1 this is negative 1 this is 1 and this is negative 1 this is the center 0 0 so what we are saying is when ang the, a particle is at say p1 here so this is particle p1 at an angle of 30 degrees from the positive arm of the x-axis the x coordinate is going to be this coordinate so let me write it here so this coordinate is going to be root 3 over 2 that's what it means so Okay, so yeah, this is theta, so we are saying theta is 30 degrees. So when theta is 30 degrees, the x coordinate is going to be root 3 over 2. So using symmetry, if you draw theta, so let me drop it down here. So this angle, I hope you can understand, is also going to be theta or negative theta. This is negative. If the top, if going up is positive, going down is negative. So what is this point P2? So let's say this is P2. At P1 the particle has moved 30 degrees. So here at P2 you can say the particle has moved minus 30 degrees or if you go if you go if you draw the if you go uh, anti-clockwise minus 30 is same as saying this is 330 degrees. So we can say at P2 the particle has moved minus 30 degrees or it has moved 330 degrees. And so again the x coordinate is the same. So here we can say this is also going to be cos of minus 30 or we can also say cos of 330. So let me show you that on the calculator. So if you go on the calculator, if you press cos 30, it will be 0 0.8. Uh, I have to change this man to degrees. So let me change this into degrees. So cos 30 is 0 0.866. And if you go cos of minus 30, that will be the same answer. Or if you go cos 330, it will be 0.866. Okay. So now what, now using symmetry, what would happen if, suppose, if this is say root 6, root 3 over 2, there is a coordinate here, say this is minus root 3 over 2. Okay, so this is the x coordinate. So yeah, So let's so this is a P this is a P three and this is P four. 
when the particle has come to P3, what's the angle it has moved? So this angle is again theta. This is theta and this is also theta. So when it is P3, the angle it has moved is 180 minus 30, which is 150 degrees. And at P4, it is 180 plus 30, plus 30, which is 210 degrees. So using, using symmetry and looking at this point and the angle it has moved, I can say cos of 150 should be equal to cos of 210. That should be minus 0 0.866. Okay, so let's do that. So let's go cos 150 is minus 0 0.866 and cos 210 is equal to minus 0 0.866. So basically what I want to emphasize in this video is this angle, this angle is called the principal angle. This angle in the first quadrant is called the principal angle. So if you know the, uh, the value of the principal angle, you can find the other values in the other quadrant. And the, this is the first quadrant. I hope you know this. This is the first quadrant. This is the second quadrant. This is the third quadrant. And this is the fourth quadrant. So in the first quadrant, you will have all the trig ratios positive. So let me write in the first quadrant, all trig ratios will be positive. In the second quadrant, what would be positive? Your y coordinate is going to be positive. That means y coordinate corresponds to sine. So in the second quadrant, sine would be positive. In the third quadrant, both are negative. Okay, both are negative. So if both are negative, 10 is going to be positive because 10 is sine over cos and both are negative. So in this quadrant, both would be negative. And in the fourth quadrant, what is positive? The x coordinate, x axis is, x coordinate is going to be positive. So that means your cos is going to be positive. So basically what I want to say is if sine, if you find a trig ratio between 0 to 90, which is in the first quadrant, all the trig ratio, the value would be positive. In the second quadrant, which is from 90 to 180 degrees, the sine would be positive, the rest would be negative. In the third quadrant, 10 would be positive because sine is going to be negative because sine corresponds to the y coordinate and cos corresponds to the x coordinate. So sine is going to be sine is going to be negative, cos is going to be negative, so 10 is going to be positive. And in the fourth quadrant, that is between so in the third quadrant, any angle between 180 to 270 is in the third quadrant. And in the fourth quadrant, it is between 270 to 360. The, in the fourth quadrant, cos is going to be positive. So I have made an acronym to remember the positive. So AS, this is not my acronym, ASTC. So this is from the first quadrant. So this is first, this is second, this is third. This is a good way to remember which trig ratio will be positive in which quadrant. So all, all trig ratio will be positive in the first. In the second quadrant, sine would be positive. In the third quadrant, tan would be positive. And in the fourth quadrant, cos will be positive. So I remember it like this. All sinners, S for sinners, T for two, church, C-H-U-R-C-H. Or there are also other people who have made all science teachers are cool. Or this is what I like, all sinners should go to church. Church is a place for sinners. 